In today's this week's segment of Ask the Vet, we are talking about spaying and neutering your pets and the importance of it. Uh, so joining us this morning, Dr. Christian Broadhurst. I think we're working on getting him up right now. We're working on it. Do we not have him? Do you want me to tell some dad jokes? We can tell some dad jokes. I can tell you how important it is to spay and neuter your pets because uh, it, it is very important. It helps long lasting. I can see Dr. Christian Broadhurst. He's actually nodding his head saying how important it is to do that. All right. Very good. Am I through now? Yes, you're through now, Dr. Broadhurst. Uh, well, it is certainly important to spay and neuter your pets. It is one of the most important things you can do for your animal's health. I was just saying that. I was just saying that. I was right. Absolutely. Yep. <laughs> to get some number or to get some terminology down, we spay our girls, we neuter our boys, but you can say sterilization for either one. So that goes both ways. Um, <clears throat> it is certainly very important to spay our female dogs because unspayed female dogs, one, contribute to the pet overpopulation problem, um, and two, certainly do uh, develop more medical issues, including breast cancer, including uterine infection. Uh, and certainly, as you can see on the screen, there are a lot more animals out there than we need there to be. There are six and a half million animals entering shelters each year. Um, and unfortunately, somewhere around one and a half million of those are euthanized simply from the lack of homes. So between health, and the need to eliminate the overpopulation problem, spaying and neutering is supremely important. Oh yeah, and I remember when I got my dog neutered, they were explaining to me the risks and the benefits and you know, prostate cancer, the amount of diseases it can lead to, it was kind of eye-opening to me. It really is, you think it's such a small thing, but it can have long-term consequences on dogs that you, know, you would much rather spay and neuter your dog at you know, six months of age then have to deal with testicular cancer at 12 or pyometra at seven. Now those animals are gonna have a much harder time with it than, <clears throat> than other animals spayed and neutered younger. And it doesn't have to cost you an arm and a leg to get this procedure done. No, it doesn't. Um, certainly there are lots of low cost options out there. We are a low cost spay neuter facility ourselves. Um, and certainly we are booked up a bit because it's a very in demand procedure but certainly it's something that if we can't get you in, there are other affordable options out there. So definitely pursue your options, get your animals sterilized. Um, it'll it'd be much better for their health for you to do that for them. Yeah, I know from a personal experience, I remember going to a vet, they were telling me it's gonna cost four or $500. And I said, let me go to the Humane Society. They do it every day. And it is true. It's not like you're going to a lesser version. You guys actually do this every day. So many surgeries, you're, you're experts at it. We do thousands and thousands of spays and neuters a year, so there's a lot of muscle memory there and there's a lot of efficiency in our staff. Um, we have very quick, very safe surgeries. So um, you, know, you can get, and honestly for me, it doesn't matter where you get your animal sterilized as long as they get sterilized. That's the most important take on that. Dr. Christian Broadhurst, so happy we got you up and thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you very much for having me on.